Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Ask Jimmy Smith. Today, I'm excited to be showing off a new tool with a returning guest uh, named Joseph Kelsey. Um, and this tool that he created uh, is one that will help speed up your arbitrage and wholesale sourcing so that you can find new products that maybe you weren't finding before. Essentially, what the tool does is it's able to take different lead lists or anything from tactical arbitrage or arbitrage hero or any of your wholesale lists that you have. And it's able to take the data from those software tools and turn it into potentially more uh, leads for you to sell on some hidden listings. And it helps kind of speed up the manual sourcing process. It's a great combination of both manual sourcing as well as the software tools for um, doing software sourcing. So anyway, before we get into that, I do want to remind you though of the contest that is running on this video and every video on my channel where you could be entered in to win a copy of my best-selling book, Side Hustle to Full-Time Income. All that you need to do is leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and tune into the next video to see if you're the lucky winner because I do put the winner from this video in the middle of the next one. So if you're interested in checking out Joseph's awesome software that we're going to be going through and demoing in the video, you can head over to askjimmysmith.com forward slash PSP. That link is below and in the description and PSP stands for Profit Seeker Pro, which is the name of the software. And if you'd like to check out uh, the last YouTube video that I did with Joseph, check out the details below. It was on the proven bot sourcing program and uh, it's a very uh, good video and an amazing program as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the interview with Joseph Kelsey. Hey, Joseph, thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel at Ask Jimmy Smith. I'm really excited to have you back here, man. Yeah, Jimmy, thanks for having me again. Yeah, really excited too, because before we were talking about a course that you had launched and there's a, a lot of momentum behind that and a lot of great uh, stories that have come out of that. Um, and this time we're talking about a software tool that you have created that I really love the, the functionality behind it for arbitrage sellers and wholesale sellers, uh, both this applies to. Uh, but before we get into some of that and a demo of this software, why it can help and all of that, I would love you to give kind of a little bit of a background of who you are, your Amazon selling journey, just for anybody that may not have seen the first uh, first video that we did together. Yeah, for sure, Jimmy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I started selling on Amazon probably about five years ago. Uh, soon after selling on Amazon, I heard about uh, the silent sales machine uh, Facebook group. And I joined that. I became involved in there. I became a coach. And now I do some of that stuff. Um, I, now I'm working on doing content creation. Uh, as far as Amazon is concerned, uh, last year I did $1.2 million in sales on Amazon. And also, I've taken a big uh, strive towards uh, the Walmart marketplace as well. Oh, so, awesome. yeah, our business is going pretty well on Amazon. Okay. And are you strictly uh, arbitrage or you do wholesale as well or branded bundles? Like, what are the methods that you're using? So, I do primarily now. So, I started off doing RA only for like the first four years-ish. And then I decided to adjust to doing an OA model. And because I was influenced by uh, the course... Um, always simplified that Leah and Jessica did. Yeah. So then I, I went to that route and now I'm at, so I do primarily OA, some RA still, and I'd say about 30% of my business is wholesale. And I am actually in the bundling course now, cause that's the next direction I'm taking as well. So awesome. Okay, cool. Yeah, all those courses that you just mentioned, um, I've actually done videos with uh, about all of those different courses. So if anybody's watching this and they're curious about OA Simplified or you're curious about branded bundles, you can look up videos on my channel or check out all the links below in the description. They're all there for anyone that's interested. But um, let's talk a little bit about uh, the the proven bot sourcing course that you did that kind of started a lot of this. It was the reason that I brought you on the channel before. Um, and for anybody that does want to check that out, all you have to do is go to askjimmysmith.com forward slash proven bot. Um, but ultimately, Joseph, give us a little bit of an overview of what that course was about, kind of how that went, and then how it lends or led in to the uh, new software that you've built. Yeah, for sure. So the bot course is basically a course that teaches you how to go to any given website and how to gather all the data, right? Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're grabbing the price, we're grabbing the title, we're grabbing the, the URL, we're grabbing all those points that you need in order to uh, quickly go to those sites and see if you can purchase those products and make money on them. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what I teach you to do. I teach you how to do it um, using just uh, methods of scraping. 
And basically, yeah, that's kind of where the software played in because I actually started developing the software before the course even launched, right? So hmm. that's kind of how the whole idea came because I was doing the, the bot course strategy for about a year probably. And I just, I found where the bottlenecks were and I knew what kind of uh, software or helper or extension to uh, help me to to really find the profitable hidden gems, mm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I know um, that we gave a very good overview of a lot of the different things that went into the bot course. Um, and so that YouTube video is on here and I'll make sure to try to link that in the description as well. But let's go ahead and talk about your software now that kind of came through that course. It is called Profit Seeker Pro. Um, and I do have uh, my own, it says an affiliate link. You don't have to use it. If people don't want to, you can go search profitseekerpro.com if you want. My link is askjimmysmith.com forward slash PSP for Profit Seeker Pro. Uh, but Joseph, can you tell us a little bit about Profit Seeker Pro? And then we can get straight into a demo of the software so people can see how, how to use it, why they should use it, um, really the kind of time that it'll save them and the products that can help them find as well. Oh yeah. I, so with Profit Seeker Pro, it basically allows you to have a, a little, little uh, interface that travels with you on amazon.com. Basically what we're doing is we're uploading data to ProfitSeekerPro.com where you can get that data in multiple ways, which I'm going to cover some of that in the demo. But basically we're uploading the, the URL, we're uploading the price, and we're just making this little gadget that can uh, quickly help you manually source because we all know the hidden gems are located in the manual sourcing, right? I mean, you know that as well as anyone, Jimmy. You've yeah. got your share of manual sourcing. All right. So that's basically what we're doing. We're making manual sourcing with Profit Seeker Pro as fast as possible. Okay, awesome. Well, let's go ahead and get into the demo. I'll let you pull up your screen um, and we can kind of walk through that because I think that anything that can help speed up sourcing and save time is worth uh, worth its weight in gold if it's able to help you find more products. Um, because obviously um, the amount of time that you spend finding a product um, you know, is directly uh, going to impact your business. And if you can speed that up by you know, even 30 seconds per product, it makes a huge difference over the course of, um, you know, of a month and a year, especially if you have a team too. And so if you've got a team using different tools, um, or not using those tools that can separate one business over the other. So awesome. So this is the website. Uh, so if anybody wants to get to that, askjimmysmith.com forward slash PSP for Profit Seeker Pro. Um, and let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah, thanks, Jimmy. So yeah, this is ProfitSeekerPro.com. Uh, in order to utilize this software, you have to first sign up for an account. Uh, either use uh, Jimmy's affiliate link or you come down here. Each of these different uh, uh, pays or prices they each include a 14 day free trial. You can cancel it anytime. You just log into your account and cancel the subscription. So you get 14 days to try it out, see if it's for you. But uh, yeah, so once you do this, you sign up for an account and of course, write down your uh, username or you can log in with your email name because whatever you sign up with, that's what you log into the extension with. So here, I'll show you how to do it. I uninstalled it just for this demo. So you click download extension. Oh, I thought I removed it. I remove it now and I'll add it again. So, okay, then you'll, you'll come here and you just click add to Chrome, add extension. And I like to make sure it's pinned here so I have access to it. So I pin it. Now I'm ready to go to amazon.com and I'll click on my little extension. I'll log in using my email or my username. There we go. All right, so now this is where you upload your data. And I'll go kind of through how you can get this data to, I'll go through how you can get data to upload to it, right? So there's a, a multiple multiple different ways to do it. Uh, one way is using, for example, Jimmy Smith's Replen dashboard, right? You can export your data from there, select the category or the, um, the uh, um, columns that you want, right? You would, you would want to get, grab your, uh, your, your price, your URL, if it's there, your um, title, and what else would you want? Because there's no image in there yet. ASIN? Yeah, well, ASIN, I'm going to make a box for ASIN that's not in the extension quite yet. But um, 
So yeah, you would describe those four data points. And I'm going to show you too how you can add the uh, image URL to a spreadsheet. Hmm. But another way that you can grab data as well is if you have a TA account. So I ran a scan earlier. Uh, you will go to your completed uh, searches, your search manager. You click on result, and you're going to download that data. Just click download all. All right, now it's ready. Now I'll come back to my Amazon here and I'll click on my little PSP extension. I'll choose my file and I'll grab that file I just finished. I'll click open. Now this is where you're gonna map your different uh, columns uh, for tactical arbitrage, UPC, if it has it, it'll be down here. So I'll map the UPC, then the image, I wanna map the product image. The title is the title. Price is price, and your URL is right there. So once you map all those, you click Save, and this little gadget pops up for you here. Now, I'm going to say one thing, because some people had this, had this issue where if you click the X, sometimes people can't figure out how to get it back. But how you get it back is you click on the extension, you go to the settings, and you uncheck this box. Mm -hmm. So basically we're manual sourcing something that TA uh, scraped for us. And we're seeing, we're trying to find the multi-packs, the variations, the combo packs, all those kind of things are, are hidden most of the time. So on this extension here, if you click next, it'll bring you to the next item in whatever you scraped. Uh, say, let's, let's say we left off in doing this on line 200. We did 200 items in one night, so let's go to line 201. Try to continue where we left off. So if we click 201, then it just jumps us to that line in the page. Uh, some other things is if, so this 10%, that's just a placeholder. It's not active, but say this is Walmart. You don't really get a discount at Walmart. Well, I guess you get cash back. So if you want to figure in your cash back, or if you get a like a Target, Target one, you can enter in your 5%. But for Walmart, let's say I want to get my 2% cash back. So basically what it does then is it takes your price at Walmart and it brings it down to whatever the discount. It does, just does the math for you quicker so you know which price you're working off of. Um, a couple other things, if I click these little arrows here, if I click the right arrow, it'll just move my gadget for me from side to side. Uh, some other things that you wanna keep in mind is, okay, so say I find a product I wanna look into more. Um, I'll click visit. And that'll bring me right to the site to buy it. And now here we're seeing it's actually a cheaper price than what I was showing. So that one's showing 1860 and tech to arbitrage scraped it at 2597. So I would want to keep that 18, what was it, 1860 in my head while I go through these, looking for potential items that would be profitable. Uh, another thing is if I click back, it'll just bring me back one item. Um, and say I want to see if I can find this item for cheaper than Walmart. Let's see if it's seventeen twenty-five at Walmart, really. Okay, that's fourteen sixty. So what we could do then to see if we can find it from another source is click on the search with Google. It automatically search Google for this item for you. That's awesome. Um, all right, let's just go few, through a few items here. And if you have any questions, Jimmy, feel free. Yeah. So essentially what it's doing then is it's taking the title um, and it's it's searching that on Amazon. What does it do from an image standpoint? How is it um is it searching both image and the title? Like how how is it working? Uh so it's only searching for title. So basically what it's doing is it's taking the title that well, we got this from TA. So it's taking the title and it's automatically searching on Amazon.com for that title. So here we can see a two pack. So it's probably already calculating the price of two of these mm -hmm. right okay and okay another feature though is if you want to take out say the two pack you can click on the little pencil button here and you can delete the two pack and then press enter now it'll do your new search for you up on top without the uh two pack in it right okay so but yeah basically we're looking like here's a combo pack i mean that one we can't make money on but as you use this you'll find ones that you never would have found otherwise mm -hmm. right and so I see that you have a little Google Drive link there. What does that do? 
So that is actually going to export these data points for you to your own Google Drive, a sheet. It'll make a sheet for you. It'll it'll export your uh, your title. It'll export your price. It'll export your image URL, your UPC. or what. If you don't have a UPC, it just won't export that. Um, and then it'll export your, your buying URL. So that is currently being approved by Google as we speak. <laughs> They're kind of slow with getting these things approved because they have to go through it and make sure there's nothing harmful in there. So that does not work right now, but I'm thinking within the next week or two, it'll be up and running. Okay. So, okay, another thing I wanted to show you though too is if you've happened to take the, the proven bot course and you're watching this, uh, maybe you saw this what I showed, but basically this is Arbitrage Hero. This is another site that I promoted in uh, the bot course mm -hmm. and we were using it to run our scrape files through it, seeing if we can make money on Amazon. But this one's kind of neat because it has built in um, scrapes already for you to download. So for example, let's go and find a site here. Let's try, I was like doing Sam's Club. Okay, so you would go to your online arbitrage, your analyze products, and that'll bring you to this page right here. You select which retailer you wanna look at, or you could actually select a couple, right? I could do Sam's Club and this Abe's of Maine if I wanted. And so with, with the intention of running this through Profit Seeker Pro, I want to actually have as many um, potential items as I can. So I'm gonna wanna, wanna click low for matching score. And I can narrow down by category if I want within Sam's Club. Let's do beauty and personal care. Then what I do is I click update. And now I have a file to use here. So. What I can do is I can click the CSV in the corner here and it'll download that. Well, that doesn't look like many products in that category. Let's get a little bit bigger one. Let's just keep it. I just do everything. All right, so that's quite a few pages to go through. So now I'm gonna download that one. And now we can come back to our, uh, our Profit Seeker Pro tool and we can just click on the extension again. It'll let us upload a new file. I'm going to grab that Arbitrage Hero file. I'm going to open it. Uh, UPC, I doubt that's here. So we'll just leave it as NA. Image would be supplier image. Title would be supplier title. Uh, price would be cost for this one. And URL, supplier URL. And we'll save it. And now we have a new um, file to go through and to, to dig in, see if we can find any good uh, potential leads here. So then you're just gonna wanna keep going next. And you learn pretty quickly how long to spend on a search or spend on a search rather. And so essentially then what you're doing um, as you're going through these pages is you're looking at that image that's on the left in your, um, your software and you're seeing if anything kind of matches that in the Amazon images so that then you can further dissect that, that listing. Yep, like here, it looks like there's one here. I mean, not one that I would necessarily sell on, but mm -hmm. I'll open it here. And then it travels with me as I go here. And then I can type into my calculator, say if I got it for 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. And then since it hasn't been sent up. Yeah, yeah, so that's probably not a... And then if I'm there, I'll just click next. And then I have another item to look through. Mm. Okay. Awesome. And yeah, you, if you hover, hover over the image, it of course makes it a, a bigger one for you so you can further match it. Mm -hmm. Now, another way to utilize this is, so I have three VAs and two of the VAs strictly use this Profit Secret Pro right now because we're finding all of the, the hidden ASINs. So um, another thing that we do is we take all our old accumulated, accumulated leads and we put them into one big sheet. And we upload that sheet into the software too to see if um, we can find the hidden ones as well, mm. right? So the way you can do this is, here's an example, I'll pull it over my screen here. So here's an old ex example of some of my leads. Uh, so the one thing, well, I have my VAs do it, but, and you don't have to do it, you can do it without a, a uh, image, mm. but basically you'll wanna click on your, your buy link 
and I'm wanting to get an image for it. So I'm going to click on the by link. I'm going to go over the image and I'm going to right click the image and I'm going to do copy image address. And now you only have to do this one time. So that's the benefit of it. If you ever want to go through your leads again. And then I would come over here to, the, I made a new column here on my leads list called image. And then I would just paste in that address for the, for the image. And now I can upload an image for the Profit Seeker Pro software. Awesome. So then I'll save it. And let me pull this one up. All right. I'm at my columns again. I don't think I have UPC, but now I have an image at the bottom. My title, my price was my cost. And my URL is my buy link. So I'll save that. And now I can actively go through my old leads and see if some of them have come back to, to be profitable again, or if an item I sourced before has another hidden listing or um, like a multi-pack or something available. And then I would just start going through my old leads list. Right. Now, if you got to one that didn't have an image, what would that look like? So if you went to like row um, 18 or something um, on your... Oh yeah. So it would just, it would just not show an image. Okay. It would still do the title search for you, right? I mean, this one. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So the image is just what you use essentially then to help you know that it's at least close to a product match of the source site. Yes. And you don't have to use the image, of course, but you can right. just do this, the title search. That's awesome. But, but yeah, that's, it. that's kind of what it is. It just helps you to manually source as fast mm -hmm. as possible. In fact, when I was doing the, uh, the demo, when I launched this in the bots Facebook group, mm -hmm. um, people were finding leads like right away. Wow. You know, I mean, it, it can be that valuable because the, whatever, for whatever reason, TA, Arbitrage Hero, they let a lot of items slip through the gaps, you mm -hmm. know, or slip through the cracks rather. And this is using that data to really dig in, right? And that's where we find the the ASINs that most people don't find is the manual sourcing. The, the, the mm -hmm. stuff that's harder to find is more, pe or most people don't take the time to do manual sourcing when they're using softwares like TA or arbitrage hero. Okay. And in the bots course, I actually, well, we kind of covered it, but I show you how to go to any given site, sites that aren't in TA or arbitrage hero and how to scrape those sites and create that data for you. So then you can manually go through it and uh, find potential leads, right? Awesome. Yeah, I love it. it I think that uh, one thing too, that you mentioned having those leads lists, you know, you also mentioned earlier refund dashboard, you know, we've got a whole section for tracking all your leads. I mean, there's yep. thousands of leads that could be uploaded and then you could have your team go through and upload it to this. So that way you're finding new leads. And what's interesting too, if you find another lead through this, that maybe you end up saying, you know what, I don't want to buy it right now because it's not profitable. Let's add this product to the leads list. Maybe the next time you search it, that is the same product, but because of the way the title works, it might come up differently too. You just never know. Um, it's some, some of these different listings can pull back depending on how you exactly. search for different exactly. things. So, and yeah. I've seen that multiple times, Jimmy, too, where it searches for this random title and the first five or six have nothing to do with it. But then like seventh or eighth, sure enough, there's a bunch of them there, you know? So it, for whatever reason, just searching on amazon.com, it, it gives you much more opportunity to find those hidden ASINs. Absolutely. Awesome. Um, well, yeah, I have uh, this so far, this has been out for how many, like a month or so at this point? Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I think not even quite, not even a month yet. Okay. Gotcha. So it was released. It was released to the bots Facebook group first. They had first dibs on it. Yeah. So they got to get ahead of the curve, I guess. Okay. And now, now we're starting to release it to everyone. Awesome. Awesome. Well, yeah, I think this is something that, especially for people that are doing um, online arbitrage and they've got these different leads list sources or they're using tactical arbitrage, arbitrage hero, whatever it might be, even just their old inventory, things that maybe they don't sell anymore, but that used to be profitable. That would be an excellent list to run through this um, so that they can see more options come up through the software. 
Um, and as they, I assume as they find them and as you get more things built into the software, you're going to be able to help them with the Google Drive links and stuff like that that's getting worked in. So um, it will be exactly. kind of better. And this basically, Jimmy, it just basically, you still have to visit your price though, because if your leads are old, the price might not be the same. You know, that's the only thing. Right. But this makes it a lot quicker than going through a leads list and clicking on two links and doing all this, you know? Yeah. It just speeds up the whole process for you. Absolutely. Okay. Um, well, that's where, you know, if you've got your leads in a particular spot, I mean, you could always have a virtual assistant go through and just update all the costs if they're clicking right. through those links, or they could potentially even, I'm sure they could run it through arbitrage here or tactical arbitrage to pull back um, current costs um, yes. for, for those links as well, somehow. Um, but yeah, there's many different ways to utilize this, this I've only thought of like four or five different ones. I'm sure people yeah. come up with other ways to do it. Like in the group, some people were talking about how to use Keepa with this to to pull up, like say that in any given category, pull up the first thousand rank or one to a thousand rank and find out a way to run that through here as well. There's lots of different ways you could be creative using this just right. to make it faster for you to go through that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Um, awesome. Well, I love it. I think that especially, I mean, it's a good price point. I think it was $9.95 a month, right? Or $9.99.95 a year, right? So they Correct. essentially get two months for free if they pay for the annual subscription. Um, so if anybody is interested in checking this out, um, you can use my link at askjimmysmith.com forward slash PSP for Profit Seeker Pro. Um, or you can just go to profitseekerpro.com if you want to check that out directly instead of using my link. But um, yeah, I don't think that there's anything else to cover with how this works. Ultimately, um, if it can open up so many different sourcing opportunities, more listings, you can scale it with your team and help your team to find more products. Uh, I think there's a huge uh, amount of use cases for this. Um, and so I'm really excited to see the results people are getting from it um, as you move forward, especially as you, you know, kind of add more features to the software and do other things with the software. So um, is there anything else that you'd like to cover, Joseph, that we may have uh, forgotten to to go through? Uh, no, I think we kind of covered it. I mean, it's, it's it's pretty simple and it's easy to understand what we're doing, you know, and it, mm -hmm. and it's it makes things like TA a lot easier to use then. You know, yeah. we're just using it as our item giver, right? And then we're literally going through item by item mm -hmm. as fast as possible. You know, so it's pretty awesome. simple. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is simple, but it, sometimes the simple solutions being super elegant uh, can make a huge amount of difference. So yes. um, I love it. All right, cool. Well, Joseph, thank you so much, man, for jumping back onto my channel with me. I appreciate it. I look forward to having you back on at some point in the future. Um, and so, yeah, really excited for the future of this software and um, anything else that we can do together. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Joseph. And uh, we will see you next time. Thank you, Jimmy. Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video with Joseph Kelsey. Uh, he is a wealth of information, tons of experience in the Amazon platform and other things that he's doing now as well. And I really love that this tool came out of a need for Amazon sellers um, for his own business and other businesses that were going through his program as, as well. So anyway, I just love software that comes out of those types of needs because we know that it's software developed for Amazon sellers by Amazon sellers. If you're interested in checking that out, go to Ask jimmysmith.com forward slash PSP for Profit Seeker Pro. And my uh, contest is still running on this video. So if you leave a comment down below, you'll be entered in to win a copy of my Amazon best-selling book, Side Hustle to Full-Time Income. But uh, thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope that it helped you and blessed you. And I hope that you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.